Yo, what up, what up? Welcome back. I'm your host, B Rock, co host, J Bell. And this is Final, Final Thoughts. Today's topic I hop as a first date. Let's check it out. This is this is we on. Like, what, what's the problem? Stop. Put your phone down. No, what's the problem? Put your phone down. What's the problem? I always want to stop. Because cause women, you listen, women like you always be talking about. Uh, y'all just pick me up. Y'all can pick the date. Just take me on the date. We finally take I you all on dates. I have. What do you mean? It don't matter. You always talk. You always crying about going on dates. Why do it matter with a? Wow, it's IHOP. I'm not finna walk in Wow, here. it's so IHOP. Take me home. I'm not finna take, take you home. Take me home. I didn't came all the about an hour away from me. You think okay. I'm finna take you all the way back to the crib? Well, catch me over then. I'm not finna, that's a, I mean, that's like a hundred dollars. I'm not doing that. Listen, why would you, you said, listen, I'm taking you out on the date. It don't matter what. Take me home. Why I'm do it matter what you eat at? I'm not walking in there. Take me home. I'm not even playing. Why Stop do it matter? Me and take me no, home. I'm gonna keep like recording. Why the f*** matter what we eat at? Bro, look like an IHOP ass. No, move. Bro, that's why I don't like you, bro. You took, you took. High class. Where you want to? Where, where you want to go? Where you want to go? Blue Chris, five church, anything but here. Okay, I can afford all that. You can't me to check the light, bro. I can't afford all that. I can't afford all that. I hop in. You can't afford me. Should be I can't afford you. you. Should be trying to take girls out on dates if you gonna take me fucking. I have. What is wrong with you? Listen, you got some ideas. What, 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 what are you talking about? Okay. And I said I was gonna take you out. I didn't think I was coming here. Shit. Like, look how you dress. You ain't even. Listen. You ain't even dressed like you ready to go to no kiss and shit like that. Like, you acting like you out here. It don't matter what like, I have. It does. Cause the way no, you acting, it does it matter. matter. The way you acting, the way you acting. No, it doesn't. Like, I'm good at whatever I want. I'm all with your, I'm all your DM. Like, I look good take me out of the date. Yeah, ask you. Did I ask you where you want to go? I'm not finna dress up. You said surprise me. You said surprise me. And it's our first day. I don't know where you gonna take me. This why I ain't dress up. Cause this bullshit right here. Take me home. You said surprise you. And no, listen, look what home. I did. You ain't gotta put your hands on me. Take me home. I'm not gonna take you home. You're an hour away. Asking where the gonna go. They don't tell you. They gonna call somebody. I don't give a. And I'm gonna go in there and enjoy IHOP. Okay. Now, nah, I'm gonna leave your ass out here and enjoy okay. the. Can you come get me? Oh, you face something a whole nother. Yeah. You face something another. Me. Oh, okay. That shit crazy. Yeah, I'm about to say something yeah. All right, I'm gonna go in here and enjoy IHOP without you, sweetheart. Okay. Have a good day, love. Yeah, bye. Have a good day, love. I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I go fall. You go fall, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I go fall. That's what I did, cause it was funny. <laughs> and, and why was it funny? <laughs> you don't think she was uh, overdressed for I have Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna be petty. She could have toned it down so. <laughs> <It was okay. laughs> she could have grown. I mean, come Cat. on. Now. The cap on this app. <laughs> <laughs> the cap on this app. Yeah. It was funny, but I, I, I don't like her, though. Maybe that's just me. Why not? Because she's from El Alon Alona? That's part of it. She's a Falcons fan. That's, why. that's the main reason why. A, a dirty bird? Because <laughs> she's a dirty bird. But, like... Uh, Okay. You take somebody on a date. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. And they don't ask where we going, right? Right. Wait. When you get to wherever you're going, and she like, nah, I'm not going in here. Like, how would you feel about that? I mean, I would ask why. Definitely. And if issue? you telling me why is because it's IHOP or because it's that place and you dress like that, I would be like <laughs> That's the main thing. I kinda <laughs> feel like this kinda is our scene. This is suitable. Actually. Yeah, yeah. This our scene, like you didn't take me that serious if you dressed like this to see me. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. On our date. Mm. Uh, and he he said that she told him, "Surprise me." That's my like, <laughs> surprise, mother. <laughs> surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> but when you, that's my thing. When you abdicate like any kind of decision making, like you don't get to well hold up. This is nah nah. <laughs> you said surprise you. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no take backs over here. We ain't Indian givers, nah. 
Nah. Nah. Surprise. Man. <laughs> this is where we at. And then she had the nerve to bring up like Ruth, Chris, Say, and bro. other high end restaurants. And I'm like, baby, no. <laughs> Are you out of your goddamn mind? Baby, no. <laughs> what is you doing, baby? Uh, you can't just waltz into those kind of establishments without reservations. Clearly. And you certainly can't go into those establishments with that attire. No. Because, damn. Are you serious? No. Like, that doesn't fit in their ambiance. Like, it does not. She said, Ruth Chris first. First, that's the first yeah. thing out of my mouth. Ruth Chris. The audacity. <laughs> and oh then, and my he god! He said it. He was like, "You not even. You don't even dress for all of that." She looked like she that came from like, the gym. Like she just was doing gymnastics. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, you want to go? All right, let me just grab my bag and I'll be right up." That's what it looked like. You're not. You're not dressed for this. To be upset about somebody not bringing you to a five star restaurant when you clearly aren't ready for a five star restaurant. Mm -hmm. You you look you look like you're ready for a a, a star restaurant. restaurant. <laughs> just just a star. That, that's it. That's all I'm gonna get you. Waffle House really is what it's like. <laughs> well, you gotta fight. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. You gotta watch a fight you or something like, in order to get. <laughs> you look like you're ready for Waffle House. Right? <laughs> But like, I, that's a Burger King day. Like, you do look. Yes. Yeah. We could just sit in the parking lot and just eat a Whopper. A Jawapa Junior. <laughs> no, bro. Hell no, my nigga. Oh, my Give it a, a little nap. A, a, jo, a Jawapa Junior. <laughs> I, I drop a J on the. On the <laughs> Drop a J on the drop a dick on the drop a dick on the bitch. <laughs> oh man. Eh? <laughs> come no, on now. Nah. She was wild as a, I don't Come on now. Nah. And then like he she she was like, you know, she started FaceTiming somebody like, hey, you could come pick me up. Oh okay. mm. <laughs> call another oh. man to come pick up. <laughs> bet. Oh yeah. So this 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 what you do. That's what I do. It's, it, it was over with at that point. It's it's done with. This whole thing is canceled, clearly. But it's I, I really dislike like women who do that type of thing. Cause like you know, do what you want, surprise me or whatnot. And then when you get there we have reservations now. It's like, oh wait, I wasn't exp I didn't want this. Well, then you should have probably made some type of expectation then. You probably should have said, well, I like to go here, or I prefer to do these type of things, or, you know, whatever. Most women, is like, what they care about is what? What to wear. How we're going to dress. Yeah. Just let me know what the attire is. Yeah. Right? But she was, like, clearly ready for IHOP Waffle House. So... I know you fucking lying, bitch. <laughs> What's Man. the problem? What's the problem? That girl was was ready for the the French Riviera Spa. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's it. It's good. It hurts. I know it does. That's it. Get it. <laughs> you know, like she <laughs> she she had all gym clothes to me. Like, yeah, that yeah. wasn't like going out clothes or or you just coming over to chill kind of clothes. Like, mm -hmm. knock it off. Knock it off, man. Like, you, you, you're trying to have this whole, like, Dickie Brennan's aura, and you scream McDonald's double whopper. The fuck? I mean, double, double. <laughs> when you get a whopper. Um, and you're not a whopper. <laughs> That's what she dressed like. She you, dressed like you, she you scream a hot and spicy. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> Spice with a large fry. And where can you find all this spectacular space food? At Spacey's. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> knock it off. Knock it off. Big Mac, no cheese, though. No cheese. <laughs> if you put cheese on that money, <laughs> three dollars. <laughs> Two bucks. <laughs> um, when are y'all gonna get to the goddamn point? No, bro. We got you. We got to do. How do you feel about how the dude handled it? Like, should he have 
giving her a ride home. She said she wasn't going to get back in the car. There ain't nothing he could do about that. No, she was, she was trying to get back in the car. He wouldn't let her get back in the car. He was like, nah, you're not getting back in my car. Uh, Tell no. me what's wrong with IHOP. That's what he was doing. He was trying to get at that. Yeah, I mean, that's, all, that's his prerogative. That, like, Just like she made the decision not to go into <laughs> He could make a decision not to go in, like, let you into his car. And, you know, I, I feel like a lot of women be like, oh, no, you brought her out there. You should take her back and all of that kind of stuff. Yes, what? a goddamn game, bitch. Like, they're in the same city. Stop it. She'll be fine. I, I, I he didn't put hands on her yeah. or nothing like that. Like, she'll be okay. I used to feel that way, like, back in the 90s. But now that Uber is a thing. I'm like, nah, it's all, it's all good. You got, she you literally, got you're in the city. Call, like, call an Uber. You good? I don't, ha I don't have to bring you there, and bring you back. We can meet. You can Uber to the restaurant. Yeah. And Uber back. It's and that's perfectly fine. Like, just because I bring you out there, if things go awry, it's well within my right to be like, nah, I, nah, you got to catch an Uber back because I don't. <laughs> I'm not letting you back in my vehicle. <laughs> yeah, like this, 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 this be my thing. <clears throat> it's like we always be so hyped up because the person is a, a a female, and I'm like, okay, let's say the girl was driving and the guy was in the in the passenger seat and he was the one that was like, nah, and she was like, well, you're not gonna get in my car, and whatever, whatever. He was like, all right, well, I'll find you know any other accommodations you know that'll get him back home nobody yeah. would say nothing about that He's all right. but we want yeah. equality and i'm just like yo do y'all want equality or do y'all want preferential treatment thank you it seems like you want preferential treatment say that shit a lot of the times yeah. a lot of the times not a some times. not a little bit a lot of the times you want preferential treatment it was yeah. daytime Mm -hmm. no problem. It was it recorded. Like there was nothing crazy going mm -hmm. on. They had went there had people. Mm -hmm. She clearly had her phone on. He, she had her phone on. He didn't yeah. touch her. He didn't do anything violent. He went into the restaurant. <laughs> as far as we know, you could call the Uber, baby. Yes. Cool. She gonna be all right. Like she's in the city she grew up in. She don't have family or friends or nothing. Like, come on, man. Yeah. This ain't the first. <laughs> time like you know come on man. yeah she called another guy he's on she his way. she didn't even call a family member she called another <laughs> yeah, dude he's on his way he's <laughs> at that point it's like oh yeah you good good all right I'm yeah <laughs> Go but, get this. but they they tried to they, they try <laughs> to make it seem like the man was so yeah. damn crazy coincidence i think not he was doing wrong he was and i i just don't understand that i don't understand it i don't i don't like it I don't understand it. At all. You got any final thoughts on this? My final thoughts is for the fellas. When you date women and, and stuff, or whoever you date, do a little bit more research on what they like and what they dislike. Right? Set expectations. If we're going to somewhere that's high scale, you know, like upscale, uh, make sure that they know that and that they're going to dress accordingly. Now, if they do say surprise me and then you pick them up and they walk out the house looking like old girl did, I'm not mad if you take them to Chili's or TGI Fridays. Spacey's. It's good food in space. So whatever the equivalent of those type of restaurants in your area. I'm not because that's what she's dressed for. I'm yeah, just going to be honest. Yeah. That's what she's dressed for. And <laughs> if she come out and she look really nice and presentable and everything like that, you judge based on how you feel about that. Mm -hmm. Then take a, don't take her to some, some, don't take her to IHOP. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. I'm going to be real with you. Like, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't be the asshole that does that. <laughs> So you know, like I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm more on the guy side in this story, but it's just like advice, right? 
Don't do that. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> but do your due diligence. Make sure that if you're going to spend your time and money on a woman, she needs to have all the necessary information to be on, you know, be on time, dress accordingly, and kind of like know where we're going. I, I, the whole surprise me thing, don't fall into that trap. It is because that's what I think it is. It is a trap. Let her know we're going here. Yeah. Have a plan. Absolutely. We're going here. I'm going to pick you up at seven thirty. Let her do the rest <laughs> of that. Like you know what I'm saying. Like let her dress up and be on time and stuff like that. Right. 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 What about you? You got any? Uh, my final thoughts is more of the same, like just be aware, don't fall for the traps of the surprise me type of thing. For me, I personally, I always like to be clear about where we're going. Right? Especially on the first date. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So we, there's no surprises and we know where we're going to be, where we're going to meet at or wherever. And you can decide whether or not you want to be there. Typically what I do is like... I might I offer uh, not specific restaurants, but a type of food. You know, uh, Mexican, Italian. What you in the move for? You move for uh, you know Chinese food, Japanese food. I know a Japanese place. I know you know whatever. You know, and we kind of go off of that. So making it more about the food option than the restaurant itself. Clever girl. You know. But in cases like these, it's kind of like, I, I really dislike when people are like, surprise me, and then you get the surprise and you don't like it. And it's like, well, then you probably shouldn't have said surprise me. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. You know, especially on a first date because you have no idea what somebody's idea of surprising is. You have no idea what somebody's tastes are. You're just going to leave it all the way up to a complete stranger. It's like wild to me. So in my mind, it's like, no, she set herself up for this. And then walking out the house dressed as she was, you look like you're going to, you look like you're going to IHOP. You damn sure not going to Ruth Chris. For damn sure. Because damn. So to me, it felt like she was like trying to test him. Or whatnot, and trying to, I don't know, <clears throat> get into his pockets or something like that. Like those type of situations, just try to stay away from. End of story. You have it. That's my final thoughts on that. Cool, cool beans. But thank y'all for listening to our ramblings once again. I'm your host, B. Ryder, co-host, J. Bell, and this has been Final Thoughts.